Hi guys. In many cases, we would like to represent the point density on a raster. <coughs> For instance, this data is the Texas Industrial and Municipal Wastewater Outfalls. And I want to see the density of the points. It seems like I can see it by eye, but maybe the one on top of the other and we don't see clearly what's the density. The first thing I have to do is to make sure that my CRS is a metric CRS and currently it's 2163 which is a metric CRS. You can see here units, meters. If it's not metric, if it's, it's a geographic coordinate system, you'll have to export it. Having done that, I can do, go to the heat map creation or the kernel density estimation. And that's the algorithm I use. And first, that's my point layer, my input. Then I have to, to decide of the seek radius, which means how far around do I look for points, for outfall. And I don't know, maybe 30 kilometers, 20 kilometers, I really don't know. So 30,000. And let's make every grid point two thousand meter big. And I just look at the numbers. I try to estimate it. For instance, these numbers are pretty small, but still you'll have a nice image. You want to get it pixelized. And this will take some time to process, but let's see what goes on. I run the algorithm, and you can see that the seek radius is still too small. So the nice thing about the QGIS algorithm is I can change the parameters, add another one, and run it again. It takes longer because the seek radius is bigger. And this is my result. And the thing you will almost immediately want to do after you created the heat map is to define the transparency and see what's going on below. And Houston is by far the area with the most outfalls on this map. Use the transparency a bit so it's clearer, and uh, that's it for this screen. Bye.